Hey Josie, can I borrow your tripod? Sure, not a problem. I don't mind lending things out. So, uh, where did my tripod go? I returned it the other day. It should be in your room somewhere. You see, not having a tripod for a couple of videos wouldn't be so much of a problem if it wasn't for that whole uneven floor thing I talked about. Because the floor is slanted like this and now I have my camera on a stack of books and it's filming me and it probably looks awkward, but whatever, I digress. It's NaNoWriMo videos. I'm not expecting to get high quality anyway. Hello, welcome to my abode. Today is day 12 of NaNoWriMo and as of yesterday my word count was at 20,000. I have yet to write today, as usual, because I film these before I write, so my word count for today, day 12, is... So I don't know if you noticed, but I am actually ahead of my word counts as of today. The word count expectation for today is 20,000, and I did 20,000 yesterday. So I am roughly 1 to 2,000 words ahead of the needed goal for the day, and I am so thankful that that is now a thing. So yes, I have yet to write today. I will be getting on that here soon. I will get my music going and I will probably pull out some Halloween candy. I feel like I try to plan my writing too much sometimes. Like, yeah, I'm gonna write for 20 minutes and then do this for 10 minutes and then write for 20 minutes and then a 10 minute break. And I'll make like this whole structured list of how I'm going to write and what I'm going to do in between my writing sessions. But when I over plan it, I find myself getting into the gist of the story and I just keep going past my 20 minutes which is a good thing, but then I don't break it up enough as much and then I can kind of just get worn out. Sometimes I think I plan things too much, so hopefully I can just write as needed, take some breaks, you know, drink some water and coffee to stay conscious during NaNoWriMo. And yeah, kind of deviate from my little structured planning and hopefully deviate from my outline. Speaking of outlining, how is your outline going with your story? I'm managing to stay on track with my outline. However, I have deviated from my planning a little bit which is a good thing. I feel like I've explored more and I've added more depth. I also kind of added a random plot point with my character just out of the blue nowhere. So hopefully that'll work out and I won't have to go back and change it during editing. So have you, have you guys ever made any spontaneous decisions in your book? I feel like that happens a lot in NaNoWriMo. You just get this idea like this character's feeling this way. Oh, I'm gonna give them this problem. And then you just throw it on them and suddenly it just carries you through the novel. And you just hope it doesn't go like this in the end and then it goes like that. Also in my novel, I have gone outside of the country that I live in. I am from the state of Iowa, but my characters are from the state of Colorado. I didn't want to do my home state exactly like my home state is mentioned in the book, but I wanted my characters to like live somewhere else and kind of have their own story. So yes, they've traveled throughout the Americas, of course, because um, this is the sequel book that I'm writing. But in this book, they go to England, and after that, they're going to go to Egypt. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm being very vague again, but once again, I'm kind of weirded out about people stealing my stuff, but I still want to talk to you a little bit about my story. So yes, as I wrote my characters entering England for the first time, I realized this is the first time I have ever written outside of my country. I've written fantasy before where you're on a whole different plane of reality, but as for like realistic fiction, aside from that first book, this is the only time I've ever gone outside of America. And I'm kind of nervous about it because I don't want to misrepresent something or be inaccurate. So I'm being descriptive, like I'm looking at pictures and I'm describing them, but I'm also being kind of vague. I'm also going to go into some made-up places in England so I can kind of, you know, do my own take. Yeah, that's just another question for you. I'm sorry this is kind of random. I'm asking you like a million different questions, but have you guys ever written outside of your country? Do you find that difficult to do? I've only been outside of the country once. I went to the Dominican Republic. I was on a mission trip and that was like a really third world place. Like I went to Santo Domingo, but I was in some really like different difficult areas. It wasn't like big city and all the spazzy lights and everything. And I've been all over the United States too, so I like to use the attractions that I've seen and that I know in the novel because, you know, what I see, I'm familiar with and I can describe. But yes, hopefully I won't make a bunch of Englanders mad if I ever get this published for making their city look inaccurate, but I'm not doing anything harsh to their city, so we'll hope for the best. So yeah, that's basically all I want to talk about today. This was a little different. I feel like all of my NaNoWriMo videos end up being different. But I just wanted to make this a little bit more relaxed than usual. I still wanted to, you know, talk about writing and questions and the story, but I didn't want to make it so structured because I feel like that's another thing we need to do with NaNoWriMo is to not have so much structure but still have structure. I'm getting too deep into this, aren't I? Okay, let's move on. So yes, that is all I've got to say. Thank you so much for watching this video, and for those of you who have been watching, I hope you guys are having a good NaNoWriMo, and I will see you later.